guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. I hope you'll stick around, so subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss when I upload. I do upload three times a week, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Check the description box below for links to where to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you're not following me on those social medias, you might want to because that is where I do all of my vape giveaways. I don't do them here on YouTube, it's not allowed. So if you wanna get on any other extra vape stuff that I have, you should follow me over there. I also chat with you guys directly almost every day on Twitter, and I post on Instagram story all day, every day, all day long. I love it, I'm addicted to it. You can also find in the description box below a link to my second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. So if you wanna see what my other hobbies and interests include, you can check out that channel. And I have a vape related Patreon, so the monthly rewards are vape stuff. Check it out if you so choose. But let's get right into today's video. I have Ultimo Vapor E-Liquid from Vapor for Life Handcrafted Ultimo Vapor Ultimate E-Juice, 60% VG, 40% PG, and they are a zero nicotine available in zero, two, four, eight, 11, 18, and 24. There is an expiration date on here, and the expiration dates are this year. So we are good, because um, I, pulled this out of the bottom of the barrel. Um, I have Candy Crash, Custard's Last Stand, and Berry Berry Good To Me. Now, these are available at vaporforlife.com. Let me tell you what they cost because I didn't look that up before I started this video. Vaporforlife.com. Let's see, hopefully something comes up. Yes, I am of age. And we're going to look up Ultimo. Ult Ultimo, Ultimo, Ultimo Vapor Aegis. All right, hopefully they're available. Um, hmm. Unless they had a name change, nothing came up. So, we're just gonna do a blind taste test. This says Candy Crash. It must be candy. Who knows? I don't know when I got this e-liquid or who sent it to me, if it was vaporforlife.com or not, but I'm having trouble getting the plastic off. Oh my goodness, it's creating such a mess. Oh, there we go. Peel that shit off. Okay, we got... I was just gonna check the bottle, see if there was a an e-liquid profile. <laughs> What does that smell like? It's like candy and perfume. Mm, I'm gonna smell the other ones before I choose which ones I'm gonna vape because that's a little strong of potpourri -y smell for me and I don't know. I don't normally judge Eloquid by the scent. That one's just really, really light custard smell. Very, very good to me. Let's hope this one is good. I just tossed that freaking box on the floor. Like, I will clean it up later. Don't come for me. I don't want to shake them up. They don't even want to clean them. Ooh, okay, yeah. This one smells good. We will do very, very good to me first. I'm sad that I can't read the flavor descriptions, though. They, nothing came up, so. These are zero milligram, but they are a 40-60 blend and I'm so used to 70-30 or more. That's where the throat hit has to come from. Anyways, blue raspberry, that's what I'm tasting. <coughs> I don't know if I can vape 40-60. Um, I mean, that's literally 10% difference in the ratio but that's making me cough pretty hard. Um, we'll do the custard's last stand because I don't know. The candy one just really didn't. And that's the one I wanted to try, but it really smelled like my grandma's house. Now this tastes like a custard for sure. And it's actually way less harsh than that very, very good to me one. Wasn't very, very good to me. 
This almost tastes like it has like a powdered sugar vibe to it. You know what? I like this one. But I wonder why they're not available anymore. Like, they're not that, I didn't get them that long ago because they're zero. Sorry, I'm like, my nose is dripping from exhaling out my nose. But that berry one still has my throat like, I don't know, have you guys heard of these? I have never heard of them and I can't find them on the website that is labeled on the bottle. Maybe they're not available anymore. I don't know. Comment down below what you think. Um, check out the website. Tell me, tell me what you know about Ultimo Vapors. Anyone else tried them out there? I would love to know, but I am like, it's a little harsh. So I'm not gonna do the candy one because it doesn't smell very good. I know I, I don't usually judge flavors by their smell, but something about the smell is kind of making my stomach turn. So I'm not gonna do that. But the, the custard one was all right. The, the very, very good to me was too harsh, so. I mean, but it was blue raspberries what I was getting from it. Pretty basic flavors. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This one was really quick because like I said, I couldn't find them on the website. Jesus, ugh, they're not that old. I'm like, Jesus. But I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. So give it a thumbs up if you did. I love when I get my thumbs up from you guys. Don't forget to fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.